How's it going, everyone? My name is Cornchip, and welcome back to Dark Deity. We're on to chapter 20. As always, I don't really have much to say, so I'm just going to start getting through this dialogue. Thanks for coming, everyone. <sighs> my worst fears have been realized. Varric doesn't have my mother. The necromancer does. How did you learn this? A reanimated soldier approached us as we fled High Ridge. A thrall of the necromancer, no doubt. This necromancer goes by the name Akmenos, and he's expecting us at Arrogance Peak in seven days. If I'm not there, he'll kill my mother. Hmm... While it might seem obvious beyond mentioning, we do need to discuss the possibility that we'd be walking into an ambush. She'd have come for me all the same. Oh, like his mom, she'd have come for me all the same. Esme did more for me than my own father. Of everyone I know, she deserves to suffer least on another's behalf. Forgive me. This isn't e easy to say, but we shouldn't go. It's true, it's the obvious choice. If we don't show up, he gains nothing from killing her. They lose a useful hostage and anger their enemies a great deal. We could call their bluff on this one. That's correct. Exactly. If we stay, she might die. If we go, she still might die. I would put the odds at a relative equal. On the other hand, if we stay, our mission is unharmed. If we go, we risk losing everything. You're right. I won't ask any of you to come with me. This is my fight and my fight alone. I'm going either way. Mm. With all due respect, Irving, you should know that's not fair. <sighs> Maybe not, but that's how it is. We've traveled across continents with you. We've overcome trials that no one has ever even attempted in centuries. You have to stop acting like this is your journey alone. There isn't a single one of us who wouldn't come with you. Still. It's not that. It's just that I have no right to force my personal burdens on the rest of you. We don't get to have our own burdens anymore. We're in this together. I knew that the moment I stepped off that ship in Veroa. Sure, it may be reckless to try and save your mother, but many of us would do the same. And you'd be right there with us, wouldn't you? Leading the charge for any one of us. Many of us don't have families left to save. It's a blessing that you do. I trust you. This is our family now, Irving, and we trust you. One of these days, you're going to have to accept that. I can see that I was abdicating any accountability for my actions. It was unfair of me to pretend you wouldn't join me. You were loyal friends. <laughs> I'm just here for the good food. Benji! You and me both. All but Benji, of course. I'm lost. Hey, what did I do? Oh, be quiet, you big oaf. I can't believe you just stole my line, Irving. Yes, well, I guess what I mean to say is, it's hard to admit how much I rely on each and every one of you. Mm. We rely on each other, Irving. That's how this works. I'll point out, I never said I wanted to stay, simply that we should. The further we acknowledge the danger, the better chance we come out alive. You think I would miss a chance to get Esme back? Not in a heartbeat. We're not doing this because it's strategic. We're doing this because it's right. Mm -hmm. We're going to Arrogance Peak to give this necromancer a beating he'll never get the chance to forget. <laughs> I've been waiting to blast this guy for months! Just like back home. We're right by your side, Irving. Always have been, always will be. Thank you. I'm honored to know you all. <sighs> what is an oaf, anyway? <laughs> oh, Benji. You stupid idiot. Okay, uh, so someone was telling me I shouldn't buy stat boosters anymore and should probably just buy, like, weapon token upgrades, so I'll probably do that. Uh, but anyway, as always, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and... Uh, as you can see, I have some tokens at the top, and I uh, usually just do that off screen, but I kind of want to do it because, or on, kind of want to do it on the recording because I'm going to upgrade Alden's balance more. First, we get to Astral Assault, and then actually, we're not even going to get to see it, which I don't know how I feel about it, come to think of it, but I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. Oh. I kind of thought it would have another upgrade. Okay, just kidding. So, we will get to see Astral Assault. Uh, someone was telling me not to use their, well, not to upgrade focus because it gets, like, pretty heavy and whatever and just doesn't double typically and, uh, yeah, I can see that. I just feel like sometimes my units have a hard time hitting. Anyway, well, I guess I can't upgrade any tier fours because there aren't any other ones, so, oops. Uh, anyway, let's go. <laughs> On to chapter 20, Arrogance, which is not the best sounding title. Oh, Arrogance Peak, that's why. After their daring message, blah, blah. After their daring mission, why can't I say mission? After their daring mission to High Ridge, the revolution is faced with a grim decision. Irving's mother, Esme, is being held by Achmenos at Arrogance Peak, near the border to Nelaus, Nelais, Neais, I don't know. Everyone agrees that they must go after her, risks be damned. Now, prepared for a fight, they approach Arrogance Peak where Achmenos awaits. Meow. I don't remember how many chapters there were. I feel like I looked it up when I started playing, but it's been a long time. Anyway, Alone, Irving. Uh, Akmenos. Greetings. How pleasant to formally make your acquaintance. Where is my mother? She's safe, not far from here. What do you want for her? 
Have you ever heard the tale of this place, Arrogant's Peak? I haven't. I thought not. It's rather dark. A tragedy, some might say. You won't find it in most histories. Back in the Age of Ascension, a young human woman sought to build a tower to the gods. She amassed an impressive following, thousands breaking back and vow to join her in her quest. It is said that it came to rival even the Great Spire of Sojourn, though such a feat would elude the prowess of today's carpenters and masons. Uh. Let's get to the point. Patience, young man, patience. The project was progressing at such an unprecedented pace, each of them thought they might actually meet the gods in their lifetime. Ironic. Rather ironic, actually. They were right. They met a god. A vengeful god, whose name was... Forgotten. To build such a tower was an affront to him, and his authority. So he destroyed it, killing the young woman and invalidating a decade of work from a thousand mortal souls. But gods aren't meant to meddle in mortal affairs. The god's name is faded to obscurity because he never found another follower among mortals. No one knows whether he retained his divinity. <laughs> I've been watching you for quite some time, Irving. You've grown into a formidable warrior. There are matters afoot that are beyond your comprehension. Best you not meddle in them. Stop this ill-fated revolution, and you'll be saving countless lives, your mother among them. I do not wish to see you harmed. These quarrels are beneath my interest. You mean to tell me you never stop to consider that calling me the human in this, that story makes you the god? <sighs> of course I consider that. It's part of the point. I was told you were bright. In your story, nobody wins. The god was never worshipped again, right? It's just a story. You've made your death a necessity! <laughs> You're just as misguided as those in the story, then. I can't honestly believe I was afraid of you for so long. What did you just say? You're delusional if you think that anything you've done is justified. You're a coward. You desecrate the bodies of people who gave their lives for honor. You hide behind them. It's disgusting. <laughs> Careful, boy. You know not of what you speak. Drop the mystique, Achmenos. I know exactly what I speak of. You're worthless. I had hoped we would get along. I'm going to enjoy killing you. Let's see it, then. I feel like that took a while to load. Chapter 20, Arrogance, Achmenos has summoned the dead to defend himself and tied their life force to his own. To defeat him, you must defeat his minions. Alright, well... I'm gonna have to choose my units, which I don't think is gonna change too much. Uh, Brooke's been wounded so many times that uh, I think I am gonna take her out. Although, who do I bring in turn? I guess Helena, even though I don't think she's been doing super great either, but... Um, and then I don't remember if I was... Enjoying Fenton, or if I even had him last time, or what? Because the only thing I would do is bring Ren instead of Fenton, but I guess I guess I could keep Fenton for now. Um, yeah, I guess. Well, let me look at the map first. There's Akmenos, who has a tier five and a lot of HP. Us and minions. So can I even get up to him? I don't think so. Let me zoom out a little bit. Well, a lot of these people look like... Oh god. Oh god. Never mind. I was gonna say a lot of them look pretty weak. Like, they're like tier 2 people. Which isn't super scary. Oh, no, there are some tier 3s up here. Uh... Who do I want, like, up first? I don't need a healer up first. Um... I can keep you all the way back. Oh, so I am going to be split up the entire time? The entire time. So... I gotta decide what I want to do with my healers then. Bianca should be on the side that only has uh, one healer, because she can self-heal, which is great. Uh, other than that... I don't need you guys on the same side. Oh, shoot. I don't know what to do here. I've got to make some important decisions, and I don't know... if I will make the correct ones. <laughs> Does this look good? I don't have any super strong units on the left that I'm, like, happy with, though. Maybe this? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I guess I'll just... we'll just see what happens. Oh, Irving's up here. Wait, what? Why would you... what? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Uh, so, like, should I even attempt fighting him? He doesn't fight me back? That seems... strange. Should I trust that? 
Anyway, let's, uh, I guess check him out. He's got a lot of HP and then just one magic attack. Uh... Yeah, I'm a little scared. Like, I don't want to fight him and then just immediately, like, get blasted. And end up nearly dead or something. I think I'll... Hold off. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's just figure out what else to do. Let's do it. Start with Alden, checking out his new magic attack that looks amazing. 70 damage, twice. Too easy. And a crit. Whoa, that is actually really cool. That was also a lot of experience. Um... In position. I guess I can keep her ranged because she has it now. Even though, yes, I know, it's a very slow animation. I was already complaining about it. Constantly last time, and of course she misses an 83, so we're off to a great start. Maybe I shouldn't have had Alden and Bianca on the same side, but now it's too late to change that decision. So, yeah. I'm gonna do this so she can get experience, since she's not attacking. You can come up here... You can push people, so I don't know who to have you push. <laughs> don't mind if I do. What's your push range? Is it two? I don't remember if I gave you push range plus one. Oh, that just means you can push from here, though, right? Or does it mean you push farther? Hey! Okay, good. I don't want to push her into more enemies. All right, so these guys are magic, which means. They have a range of two and nobody's safe. Helena doesn't take much damage from magic though, which is awesome. I just need to get these people to tier three classes and then we'll be unstoppable. I don't know if that's actually accurate, but I'm gonna say we'll be unstoppable. Guess I'll go with the 29. Nice. Take care your blood doesn't stain my robes. Well, Monroe, that's why you stay far away from them. Also, does magic make people bleed or... just explode or something? I don't know. I didn't think that whole comment through at all. Uh, I could have her attack him or... Easily done. This guy, which I was hoping you would kill. Uh, if you hit this, but if you miss, you're going to take a lot of damage. I'm still going to try it. Nice. Helena, I could barely understand what you said. Or more accurately, I really couldn't understand what you said at all. Oh, and you do nothing. But you also don't give him much of a chance to hit you, so... I'm comfortable doing this. Oh, an extra damage. Beautiful. You also don't do much damage. This guy just needs to be hit by magic, huh? I don't even know if trying to do the 1% is even worth it. I think instead I'll just, uh, do this. Not so fast. And then you can come heal him. How can I help? You can heal... Helena? We need to move as one. And then do I have I just not moved Irving? Is that it? Yeah, I just I don't know. I mean he has lost health since I killed people. I don't know if I risk attacking him. I'm just worried it's gonna end up getting me killed if I don't move him out of range. I'll try it. You've made your death. Oh, necessity. okay, he does have a chance to hit me. Just not a very big one. Right now. You've made your death a necessity! If I can like get enough experience from attacking him to get him to the next level as well, which I just need to attack him one more time. I am worried about the left side a little bit. I should have looked more clearly. Left is like anti-magic side, is what I should have had, because left is like all magic. So, I mean, Helena's over there, which is good, because she's certainly 
doesn't take a lot of damage from mages, but... Thalenel looks so cool in his tier 3. I also don't have to defeat all these guys, because I just need to defeat Akmenos. But killing these people, like, makes him lose health. Day to play hero. All right, Bianca. If you get another crit, you'll kill him. Darn. Or maybe not darn. I mean, it leaves him open for death by someone else. Oh, you actually hit a 38? Congrats. I forgot about the Cosmic Tides. That might be- I think you'll get another two damage. Yeah. Leave some for me. I mean, I kind of need to. Oh, he can just attack whoever he wants? I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, Helena sure was an interesting choice. Is the shadow cast. If you only attack Helena, I will be uh, very happy about that. Please do that more. Okay, so who gets this kill? I? Well, if I put Fent in there, he can get attacked by other people. Really, if I put anyone there. Can do. I'm gonna bring her in to start fighting archers. I don't like the damage they can potentially do to her, but... Oh well. She has the power of healing herself. Also, I didn't need to do it range. I could have just stepped in front of him. Oh, God, I'm dumb. Uh, Fenton can't reach anybody else, so... Can you hit a 71? I have my doubts. Cool, thank you. Now what? Leave it to me. If I can take care of this guy, that'd be cool, but I can only do... Well, I only feel confident about that attack. See, I probably can't kill him. I don't want to put Sia here because these archers hurt real bad, and it's just... I don't feel good about it. <laughs> uh, let's continue on this end and see how things go. Like Monroe Be here. Honor that I'll kill you myself. Immediately killed a guy for me, which is great. I don't remember what level he is. Is he at 29 right now? Uh, he sure was. Um, I kind of want to do the Illusionist, even though the skills are kind of dumb. Like, I don't really care about that. That's not too bad, I guess. Especially because he already is giving people boosts to accuracy, so I would assume that stacks. I really hope it does. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not changing his aptitudes very much, and it gives him way more movement, so yeah, I'm just gonna do it. It's kind of funny with him on a magic carpet, too. Maybe that's just my weird sense of humor. <laughs> Marin's still playing catch-up. She's only at 28. That's not horrible. Hard work is paying off. All right. Uh, let's see. If you have advantage against this guy, maybe I should have you do that. I wish you would double, though. Nice! Right between the eyes. Hopefully you can dodge this 31. That would be... Oh! Okay, then. Oh, he's so close to being an archer again. Meeting expectations. I look forward to it. Okay, so I need a mage to attack this big guy for sure because easily done nobody else can do damage to him really let's go with the 59 percent and hopefully you don't hit me i like the sound of you not hitting me cool and here i thought i'd seen it all well, you haven't. You're fighting dead people right now. Uh, I'm gonna move you... Can the archers hit you if I do that? No. 
You can go over here then. And kill another guy. Oh! Take care wow. your blood doesn't stain my robes! Monroe's popping off. His arms look ridiculous in that, but hey, that's fine. He's been working out, I guess. Okay, she can't do a lot of damage, but she doesn't take any. So I will do this. Especially because she's, I think, close to leveling, maybe? I don't remember. Strike true. Yeah, just do as much damage as you can. Appreciate it. Oh, no, she's not close. And she's also not level 29. Dang it. It's going to be a while then. All right, here's hoping you can kill, but it looks like no. Foss might be able to instead of healing. Oh. You have no honor. Just kidding. This guy's totally dead. Whoa, that was really cool. Stop All right. poking me. I will poke you as much as I want. Look at me. I will look at you as much as I want. Uh, I'm worried about these archers. They do a lot of damage. Like, to the point where I don't really even want to put Alden there. Because he doesn't have good defense. Uh-oh. Alden can also just go and kill one. Are I'm you right... sure? No, I'm not sure, Alden. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, anyone that attacks Alden will probably die. But Alden can also die. Please get defense? It's not going to help much. Your defense is at 9. And he didn't get any anyway. He has so much HP, though. It's very funny to me still. Okay, these guys don't move that quickly. Can you at least kill this guy? Oh, thank goodness. I feel better now. I think my people will be fine. I can also heal... How can I assist? Brooke, but... No, your name's not Brooke, you're Bianca. What am I talking about? How much damage could they do to you? A lot, but not enough to kill you. So I will put you here. Nice to see you on your feet. Oh, uh, and then I haven't moved Irving. So I guess I'll continue to attack this guy. Because if I can just keep building up my crit, why not? You won't feel a thing. And also get a lot of experience for Irving. All right. Do I stick with this tree? So, so far he has, he gives people other or experience around whatever. Uh, and he gains a lot of crit for movement and then gets more crit from dodge. And if I move him to Dragon Knight, he can use fire magic and then Oh, so this doesn't boost his crit stuff at all anymore. It just gives him magic, which... His magic is non-existent. <laughs> oh, magic is equal to strength. My bad. Okay, so then he'd just be... Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. But do I want that? Well, just let's check the other choices. So this... He buffs people's defense around him and buffs... Yeah, just all buffing allies. Which, I mean, goes well with his natural leader thing, but like, I mean, right now it doesn't really fit him. Berserker gains extra damage proportional to missing health and chance to attack again. That's kind of cool. And then champion can no longer double. I don't really know if I like that, honestly, even though the speed just gives him more hit power in the first place and then more push. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about any of these. I don't really want to kill his movement. I think I have to go with Dragon Knight still. So he can take advantage of like the high movement to do more crits. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I don't know if it fits Irving, but I'm going to do it. And he gets to attack again, which is kind of cool. I will. So now he has Molten Globe instead of whatever it was before. I mean, that was a very slow attack. You won't feel a thing. He probably could have dodged it.
Okay, hopefully right side will live. I like how I said I was worried about left side, but now that worry has switched. Especially with Achmenos being able to attack, like, whoever he wants, I... I'm not a fan of that. Like, if he just goes after Helena, again, that's totally fine. Ouch. Can the other one attack Sia? They chose not to, though. I was worried about the crit. Dang it. Rude. Went after Fenton, but he has, like, a horrible chit hit chit chance. Hit chance. I mean, is Akmeno supposed to be threatening? Because so far, I would say it has not... Oh, shoot. Who should I heal? I guess let's figure out how to kill people first. Uh... And also make sure I'm not moving people into their deaths, too. I'm gonna hope for the crit. Darn it. <laughs> Is she about to promote? Yep. I don't know what I'll do with her. See, can you kill this guy, like, without dying? No. Uh... Let me see who Bianca could kill. Apparently not the first guy. Or the archer. Uh-oh. She has a better chance of killing the archer, though. So let's attack the archer. Okay, there we go. Wrong day to play hero. I was almost okay with her not killing, though, because, like, maybe... Sia could have taken care of the rest of the HP if she didn't kill. But hey, he's dead. It's fine. Bianca will continue to be amazing. It's definitely not a bad thing. Gotta figure out how to take care of this guy. I don't think I checked Fenton yet. Oh, 48s? Awesome. <laughs> Should I still try it? What do I do here? Are you sure? No. I'm never sure anymore. Too easy. If only Alden could attack twice. Okay, what do I do about this guy? I mean, I can protect Maeve by putting uh, Fenton in front of her. I doubt you can kill. Nope. Dang. And then Sia, I think I already checked and she can't. But now that she's healed, I feel better about like trying. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to move uh, him here. And uh, I don't think I want to try attacking because it's just not good. <laughs> but I'll keep him here. Uh, let's not use Irving yet, because if I can kill more people, then Irving... Well, the guy has less health, so... This should be fun. All right, I hope you can dodge 25. Dang it. Alright, next up. I'm a little worried, because once again, when I send people in, like... Just leaves them open to being attacked. If you do good against this guy, let's go ahead and... Try this. Oh, do you finally don't get a crit when I needed you to. Hey, wait a minute, that's my dragon's attack! Uh... I'm worried. I am here. You are here, indeed. Lead the way. Yeah, let's get her some experience. Right here. We've got you. His lowest chance is 70. That kind of sucks, but oh well. There's always a chance to dodge. It didn't happen, <laughs> but there was a chance. Okay. I'm feeling a little better. The only thing that scares me is if I run him in here and attack this guy. 
and like don't kill or actually no not that if i get hit though Ooh, that's a really cool attack have i even seen him just do his normal attacking there we go this is first level as a tier three yep from ember to flame did not get fortitude unfortunately I'm just worried about all these people can attack him, and probably will. And if they all hit, it just, like, is not going to be good for him. I keep saying not going to be good, but, like, it's it's just not. I'm on another level. No, you're not. That was not a good level up. What are you talking about? Whatever it takes. I don't know, Irving, but you can keep whacking him. You've made your death a necessity! Just keep building that crit up. You love to see it. You won't feel a thing. He's not even halfway dead yet. Oh wait, almost. He will be after this hit. That is a really good experience. Who will lock Mano's attack this time? Oh, uh, you got a crit? That's not good for me at all. Oh, why can't they move very far? Not complaining! But I was really worried, and I think he'll be fine, actually. Too easy. Yes, feed Alden more experience. Why not? Wait, is she actually going to counterattack him? Oh, well, okay then. Only once, though, and it says times two? I don't know what's going on. Let's let her get more experience ever so slowly. Alright, I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. She looks cool as an outlaw. Actually, she looks cool as a blade dancer. Anyway, so she has more dodge if she kills an enemy, which is spelled defeating a spell wrong. More crit when allies are close to her, and gets more hit bonus from her dexterity. And if I make her a sniper, gets extra attack range, and more accuracy if she hasn't moved at all. Or there's Outlaw, where she wouldn't have range anymore. Blade Dancer. Uh, and then the Green Knight. Um, I feel like Green Knight fits her the most in terms of, like, lore slash personality, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's what I should go with. I don't know what I should go with. I guess Sniper, even though that's probably what I'm going to make, uh, uh, what's his name? Why did I forget his name? Garrick, that's his name. I kept wanting to say Garrison, and I knew that wasn't right. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just make her a sniper. I mean, I'm saying it's like a bad thing. It's really not. Look at how accurate she is now. Oh, because she hasn't moved. Right. Nice. Destiny does not falter. Alright. Okay, her arms got very beefy in that. <laughs> uh, okay, now what do I do? Because if I don't kill a bunch of people, Alden's in danger. And Sia. Really, lots of people. They only have a 24% chance to hit me with this. Please just don't this then. One's on the house. All right. I made some progress, I guess. Fenton can't do anything for me. I should have thought about that before using Sia there. Oh well. I'm just going to risk Alden again, because I can get rid of one of these people. Alden is amazing. Oh? I've got a lot to learn. Not your best level, but oh well. I'll go ahead and heal him, because if he dies, I cry. Oh! Well, alright, so you have... 
you bo uh, boost your allies, you heal when you do damage, and increase your crit after you heal people. So if I make you a phantom, which really does not fit you at all. Uh, I don't have her attacking very much, so I don't really like that. I kind of like Prophet, and also it fits her, obviously. Nah, we'll just do Prophet. You've been on a strange journey, Vesta. <laughs> but here you are now. How can I assist? So, what, what does your attack look like now? Still not that great. I could just heal Sia up, and I might. It's very, very tempting. I could also block Alden, but then they can gang up on Sia too, and that's really not good. And It looks like Brooke, or sorry, Bianca Granted. can't even kill the other guy, so... Looks like she can't kill this guy either, unless she crits. Also, I gotta say, I'm digging this chapter. I was very worried about Akmanos, but so far it doesn't really seem like a big deal. Damn, I'm good. I agree. It's kind of weird, too, because on paper her stats don't really look that impressive, at least not to me. But she's killing it. Yeah, Vesta, get a kill. In a class that suits you way more. I? I can also block Sia with him, but again, that's another thing I don't really know if I want to do. Next side. Uh, hopefully I can kill a bunch of people so Garrick isn't in super danger right here. Also, hopefully he can dodge a 41. Although I only have a 64% chance to hit, that sucks. I'm gonna do it anyway. I got the hit. And they did not. Perfect. Are you at level 29? Awesome, okay. Hopefully you will be there soon then. I'm gonna go ahead and heal you, because you really need it. Uh, see if you can kill this guy. 53% oh, chance, I mean, might as well. Darn. I was about to be upset, because I just saw the crit, and I was immediately like, no, but a crit for no damage. Because Helena laughs at magic. I mean, I've got it. No, nobody has it. Apparently, what is with this guy? If I must, Thalenel. What is with this guy? Uh oh. Slightly in danger now. At least feeling that way. Course. Okay, cool. Crits. Love it. Well, now I'm worried about Garrick. Remember I just said I was having fun in this chapter? The game said, no fun. The game really said, fuck you. No fun for you, idiot. Uh... Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Thank you, Thalenel. But now what? You take a lot of damage from these guys, even though you have a lot of HP. I was uh, hoping you'd get some crits, my dude. Okay, at least you dodged. No crit. Very beefy arms. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I guess I'm gonna heal you. All right, Irving, continue whacking Akmenos. Disappointed you didn't get a crit there, buddy boy. There we go. You won't feel a thing. You just got to keep building that crit up. This is taking a very long time. Just because my turns take so long with all my Strength units. Is the only path to peace. Yep. Totally. Although now you're using magic, so joke's on you. 
we're off to a bad start when you don't dodge a 36, my dude. Uh-oh. 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 I'm not sure I even want you to kill. To be honest with you. Okay, he dodged. Yeah, okay, now I'm cool with you killing this one. Actually, I mean, he did, but I actually don't know if I'm cool with it. Get some fortitude? From Ember he did to not. Flame. Oh god, oh god, oh god. He's dodging. And to think I was worried about Garrick. Oh, I don't like how fast these people are. On the left, not the right. Ooh, good dodges. Nice, nice. This one's on the house. Are you close to 30 yet? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Oh wait. Oh, that was 29 then. Darn. Fine by me. Hey, more defense though, that's cool. I don't even know what I'm gonna make her. I don't know what like the rogue class's stuff is. Okay, yeah, I'm also cool with this since Liberty for some reason can counterattack. But only once. Alright, thanks, camera. I appreciate that. Also, what is that spot right there? Haha, <laughs> that's funky. Anyway. Oh yeah, let's show off your th range of three. Oh, that was a weird noise. Okay, some of these animations are pretty wonky. Like, her arms are getting incredibly stretchy. I feel like a jerk, like, trying to, like, critique this stuff and make my comments, but, I mean... I'm not going crazy, right? That just, that looked pretty dang funky. Oops. Okay, I'm a little iffy on this. I guess let's go for the... Oh, nice, nice, Nobody nice. Crosses a dwarf. I didn't even finish my sentence. I was gonna say, let's go for the lowest hit chance on the enemy side. All right, paid off. And hopefully you can hit an 85 and we'll be, Oh, Dang it, you're so close to 30. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with you after that. I mean, she was good at dodging this guy. She can't kill unless she crits. Oh, just kidding. All right, if we're all dodging, Vesta might just attack. This one's on the house. Woo! Bam! Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blast this guy. <laughs> Coming in hot. If only Alden could go fight Akamenos. That'd be pretty great. Save some for the rest of us. No. I don't want to do that. Please don't miss an 88. Come on, come on, come on. It'll be super cool if you kill this guy. You'll be a hero. Okay, yeah, so all I have to do is put her here and Alden can't get hit, which is great. That's what I like. Keeping Alden safe. I'm sorry in advance this is going to be a long video. I mean, they all are at this point. But at least this one's going better than the others. I'm not, like, whining and crying like I'm prone to do Together, when things go ahead. poorly, because that happens all the time. Ooh, this guy can actually do some decent work against you. I don't like that. And I'm scared. I am very scared of these people. Very scared. I think what I'm going to do is be lame and back up. Oh, shoot. Who gets... Oh, this guy can move a lot further after that. I'm just very scared for my units, you know. Don't mind me. Uh, nobody's perfect. No, you're perfect, Liberty. Look at you. I approve. 
Not that you need my approval. But I approve. We've got you. Okay, seems like I can't As fully get away from this guy, but that's okay. Actually, it doesn't matter. He'll still be counterattack no matter what. Whatever it takes. And Akmenos is getting lower and lower. Let's keep going. Father, give me strength! You've made keep your death in a Bulking up that crit. If I could finish this next turn, that would be awesome, but we'll see. We will definitely see what happens. Also, attack Liberty again so I can get more damage on you. <sighs> you need to dodge, my dude. I mean, I'm glad you have a ton of HP. But you need to dodge. He didn't listen to me. Nobody ever does. Oh! Take care, your blood doesn't stain my robes. Or your carpet. I kind of like that sound effect. <laughs> nice. You crossed the wrong Valburin. Yeah, get him. You tell him. Impressive, is it not? I mean, the defensive stats are actually pretty nice, so sure. I'll give you that one. Oh, good dodge! Nice! You're asking for it! This might hit him to 30? I don't remember how close he was. Oh, perfect. Now, what do I do with him? <laughs> so he has Might of the Mountain. Savage and shove, and then if I make him like a berserker, uh, I mean he does lose health a lot. I think berserker's fitting. We'll go with it. Oh, he's missing some health now. Perfect. There we go. Just like that. Good dodge, I guess. I need you to like crit and cosmic tides if you're gonna kill this guy. That might not even be enough, actually. Well, it didn't happen anyway. I'd say maybe a kill for Sia, but 42 HP is still a lot. Oh? Nobody crosses a dwarf! Alright, suddenly Fenton's just going wild. Oh, he didn't go after Liberty. He's got 333 HP, though. I think I can end it here. Oh, you're not even 30 yet. I forgot. Is the shadow cast. Yeah, but also... I need to figure out what I'm going to make her, too. I don't really know. Anyway, I think I just got to kill people down here, and then we'll be good. Like, Helena, if you can kill this guy and get some experience, that'd be awesome. Nice. Because I need to get to 30. Everybody needs to get to 30. Was that really necessary? Yes, Marin. Oh, so close. How can I help? By healing and not criticizing when we kill undead people. Dummy. Sorry, I'm being very harsh. <laughs> Ouchie, we took a little bit of damage there, but it's fine. Okay. I mean, he's got to be ready for death. Yep. But let's just keep, you know, getting people experience as I can. I don't even care that this is a horrible attack for you. I'll do it. At least she hit. And then you... I don't know if you'll be able to kill him, but let's find out. Oh, absolutely not. But at least you can double? <laughs> you crossed the wrong Valburin! Guys, I can't get over those arms. I don't mean to, like, critique the 
art because like I'm no artist I can't do this stuff but some of these do look pretty wonky from time to time at least in my opinion but Onward. my opinion's not worth anything so it doesn't don't let who cares <laughs> Now, press the attack. Oh, that's what we're doing. Oh, wait, I wanted to... Well, Sia can attack this guy free of charge. Should I try to, like, weaken him first? Or will she just kill? Oh, she might get crits, though. I think I just let Sia go attack and... Absolutely not kill, but it's fine. Have I even looked at my objective? Just to feed Akmenos. <laughs> Obviously, a really bad time to be checking it when I'm however many turns in, but... Oh. Okay, yeah, let's just use the Deep Lance then. The magic animations are, like, top-notch, though. Oh, I think that was enough to kill Akmenos, huh? Well, all right then. <laughs> I hope I helped. Uh, you always do, Alden. I feel like I say that every time, too. I should get some new lines. You misjudge what my friends and I are capable of. That's the last mistake you'll get to make. Oh, so we've got Irving, uh, I think Sarah, Maeve, and Elias? Who, you know, I haven't used in a, quite a while. I think he did get buffed in the 1.5 update, but I don't know if he's, like, still... I don't know if, that, if it helped him at all. Anyway, I never misjudge, Irving. Keep that in mind. My greater purpose is beyond your comprehension. You don't live as long as I have without contingency plans. You have great power in you. You may see me as an atrocity, but I know honor such as you. But I know honor such as you could never see. Sorry about that. Still, I feel lucky to have made your acquaintance. These are historic times. It had to be done. No, Akmenos. I don't see you as an atrocity. Simply a man corrupted by fire, just like the rest. A pity, too. There was much wisdom in your speech, yet your arrogance is your downfall after all. <laughs> Perhaps it is, but not today. <laughs> what? Did he just... Wait! Don't touch it! Not without his glove, or you'll share his fate. I should have seen this coming. I can handle the staff, Irving. Or I can handle the staff, Irving. I think I know what we're dealing with. So much for seeing the last of him. Let's go find your mother, Irving. We're safe for now. Or are we? There's his mom, though. I know it's not exactly the life you're used to, but you'll be safe here. I like it. It seems you and your friends have really made a home of this place. Hmm. Well, it's taken some time, but I guess you're right. Though, I do hope to see home again. And not in ashes either, like it used to be. Nothing is ever exactly as it once was. I learned that the moment your father received his first assignment. <sighs> I saw him, you know, when we traveled to Vera. When I'd heard you fled, I thought you might seek him out. It was a strange thing, meeting him for the first time under these circumstances. I know. Of course, that's the moment most children ever prepare for. Er, sorry, that's not a moment most children ever prepare for. How was he? Well enough, I suppose. But the state of the world seemed to weigh on him a great deal. He asked after you. <laughs> I'm sure he did. What did you tell him? The truth, that I hadn't seen you in a while. But last I had, you were fine. Safe. I never would have guessed. Still. Mother, I... I was so worried. I was afraid you had... that they'd... It's alright. Shh, that's alright. No need to dwell on dark thoughts that have not come to pass. You're right, I'm safe here, and I don't expect to be traveling abroad anytime soon. I'm glad of it. It's you I'm worried about. Much rests on your shoulders now, son. Not mine alone, and it's clearer now than ever that our cause is just. There are more who believe that with each passing day. And each of them have placed their faith in us. I just hope we don't fail them. You won't, I'm sure of it. Though, I will confess as your mother, I'm obliged to say these kinds of things. Only you can make them true. I know. Oh, alright. <laughs> Chapter 21, the advance begins. Uh, I guess we're going to see Akmenos again at some point. Um, but hey, I'm, I, I'm back to enjoying myself. Chapter 20 was fun. Even if somebody got wounded, I think I would have been fine too. But hopefully I can just keep avoiding that at this place, or at this pace. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode. So consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club. And I will see you all next time. Bye.